Hey guys, Marty Boots here. Today I want to talk to you about the Bitcoin dominance chart and what implications it could have on the overall market, especially the altcoins. So if we look at the dominance chart here, guys, you know, we've had a huge rally. Um, you know, we've gone from 34, 34% way up here to uh, 73%, 74%. It's a massive move. It's a massive, massive move. So it's basically gone up 100%. Um, now, what implications could that have? You know, it, it's 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 very important, guys. It's very very important. And and the thing is, this is actually trading at a at not the best angle. Um, you know, it's it's almost like a rising wage, so so to speak, or or a, a triangle, right? Rising triangle or rising wage, whatever you want to call it. Um, so. It concerns me a little bit. It definitely concerns me. Well, it doesn't actually concern me. It concern me. I'm delighted with it. I think it's fantastic because um, what I want to show you in a minute is the fact that this could be really, really, really good for altcoins. And the thing is, altcoins at some point need to start leveling out. Now, a lot, a lot of them will die off. Um, I don't believe they'll die off until we have a bit of a financial crisis. Um, maybe some of them are dying off slowly as we go, but you know the ma the majority of the real shit coins, um, in my view, will die in the next uh, real stock market crash, recession, financial crisis, whatever, however bad that gets. That's when I believe uh, there'll be a complete washout of the of the of the shit coin market. But uh, until then, you know they they can bottom out and have some real real good gains. So what I want to show you here, guys, um, you know, we've had a substantial bounce here. We're into the the monthly uh, monthly 50 moving average, which is very important level. So I just want to show you here, and I've got a comparison here to the oil chart. Now, the other thing is, guys, if you think about it, does it really make fundamentally sound sense that that this dominance chart should be higher you know it's already at 70 percent of the total market um there is two thousand three thousand other coins yes most of them are shit coins but as this market evolves you know these coins are going to start taking up more market share and they're going to they're they're going to get stronger as as time progresses because crypto is going nowhere and companies are going to adopt these coins they're gonna they're they're gonna grow and build these coins over time, you know. Libra is coming in. JP Morgan's coming in. I wrote these in our uh, new crypto check monthly update that we uh, we sent out yesterday, so that for the first time. So that is uh, going to be something we'll be rolling out in the future. I think it'll help the members. You know, that there'll be educational stuff in it and just forward thinking of market analysis and stuff. So it'll be a real benefit to the members, I think. And and the first one, you know, there's a bit of trial and error in it, but we will improve on that. So um, anyway, um, I lost my train of thought here. But but anyway, like for me, guys, for me, I'm not a Bitcoin maximalist or, or anything like that. I fully believe in Bitcoin and I think it's got a very bright future. And, it, it you know, but in my in my thoughts, why does the dominance have to be so high? You know, in, in theory, it shouldn't be so high because there'll be so many other good coins. I mean, Ethereum, maybe XRP, you know, Litecoin, all, all these coins probably should have more dominance over over time. JP Morgan's coin, Libra, you know, and all these other big banks. Like, when you think about it, every single bank in the world will have their own coin eventually. Um on top of all the big businesses that are going to come into this market. So what I'm saying, guys, is the dominance chart for me, and I'm going to, I'm making a bold prediction here, and I talked about this in our monthly update, you know, that this might be the highest point that you will ever see dominance. So, sorry, guys, I had an interruption there. But um, back to that, um, I was making a bold prediction, and I'm saying that dominance might actually be at its highest point, highest point that it ever will be at again in the history of the crypto market. It's it's a very bold prediction. Um, you know, in my eyes, I think it's possible because 
I, I just don't believe that the, the Bitcoin should control so much of the market share and have so much dominance. Um, I think all I think a lot of these other companies will grow. A lot of good companies like Link, um, Tezos, you know, XRP, Ether, Litecoin, you know, there's a lot and, and a lot of future coins. And as I talked about, all the all the bank coins come into the market and all the the real big um, business coins and institutions and stuff. They will all start flooding into the market, and it will take away from Bitcoin's market share. So. Um, We'll see how that plays out. Now, it will be a process. Like you, the the thing is, um, is this the exact top? I mean, it might have a top on process, and, and I want to I want to just elaborate on that a little bit. Um, what I've got here, guys, is the market cap um, dominance chart, and I've got oil here just as a, a guide. Now, what happens when when price? has a huge massive down move and then we get that retrace you can see here exactly what happened in oil you get this huge down move and you get the retrace and where does it come into it comes into just a pierce of the 70 uh sorry the 61 percent and that is what we have here now what i'm saying is we may get one more push up and and maybe form a bit of a top up there uh, and then uh it, it might actually start rolling over because by this time Maybe the old coins might actually start bottoming for for real. Um, you know, I, I've made videos that they're potentially started a bull market already. Now we need to see if these lows hold. There, there is potential good moves in them. It may not be the bottom. There may be one more little swing lower um, after this up move, but time will tell. And we need to assess that and see how this trend progresses. But you can see here anyway, oil has bounced up into the sixty one percent and and dropped dropped the new lows can you imagine now if dominance drops down to 30 uh 30 percent that is very possible in my eyes and because i i don't see why dominance has to be so strong especially in an ever-growing crypto market um and again you can see here uh the we bounced into the 61 percent again from from this drop and perfectly and we dropped and, and potentially we're going to roll over again in oil um you know time will tell but that that is potentially uh, on the cards so this is what i'm saying here if this rolls over the implications on the market are massive and and what it is saying guys that the potentially is a, this is potentially a bottom in the oil coin market if i'm correct in my analysis now as i'm saying this might take one more push higher and stop hunt this level that is a possibility you can see here it it didn't stop hunt but it it gave an attempt at a stop hunt um so that is kind of what i'm thinking at the moment uh okay so this is this is a uh, ether btc and you can see here uh, we've dropped and we've dropped right back down to the scene of the crime almost where, where price broke out of right down on here but just i wanted to just show the similarities here you can see right here when price moved up and tried to break above the 100 moving average you can see the the, the price action what is happening here right now it's actually a very very similar structure um it's broke up and it's causing it's it's forming this bullish sort of flag just just like the bull flag here and it's just trying to hold above the 100 moving average now if this holds for for quite a bit of time we may actually get a bit of a bull market here in ether and and in a lot of uh, a lot of all coins and this is what i'm saying this is why i made these videos you know a couple of weeks back or a week back or whenever i made them um that potentially this the bottom is already in in these markets you know that that is that is possible so you can see then when we started moving higher we moved into this apex here and then we exploded higher and moved into the the uh, real bull market so you, you can imagine here say these are, are doing something like this you know if that moves on here like this and and we could actually start getting a, a real move um that's not drawn very well but we, we break above that line there guys and it's off to the races this this will be a bull market uh what i got here i got apple um you, you can see here when you know when price actually does get above all these daily moving averages um we, we we go into a real sort of bull market um 
you can see here on ether um i'm just using ether as a good example if we can just get above above here we will start getting above all moving averages and we could actually go into some sort of bull market um i, I just think it's a it's i thought there were similarities here actually if you look at the top look, look at the look at the top the m shaped top and then we drop back down maybe i'll just delete all this bit of an m shaped and we drop back down and formed a bit of a bottom now, if you actually look at that apple here, um, we formed this sort of an M-shaped top and came down and formed a bit of a bottom, but, but we all know what happened to Apple. This is back in uh, 2008, guys, when Apple was a, a small company, smaller. Um, it was trading down at uh, $10. And we all know where Apple went. You know, it went, it went really, it, it went to the moon. That's only 2013. So Apple actually went to the moon. Um, I'm going to continue here. A ADA. ADA, you can see here, um, it's it's just consolidating again. It's trying to form that bit of bit of a bottom. Um, now the, the the thing about it, guys, is what would be perfect is, you know, if we just consolidated here right down in this kind of area for a long time, that would that would allow price to be structurally sound and build a base and build structure. So if we had like another couple of months here, you know, in, into the new year at least down here without big moves, I, I think that's great for price, you know, and, and that could kind of just, you know, and, and then we then we would get that real, real bull market. Um, but the longer we stay down here without breaking to the downside is uh, is bullish for altcoins, in my opinion. Uh, just a couple of examples here, guys, again. Um just you know when we, when we start breaking above all these moving averages this is jp morgan um back at ten dollars down here and you can see it went 5x once you start breaking and, and form this good structure and uh you know and, and 5x so uh gold is very very similar here um you know finally when it got above all these moving averages this is totally different structure than what we've formed right now but this is kind of what i'm saying if we can even stay down here on uh eth and in most all coins eth and ada if we can stay down here in base this is what i was trying to get at with my gold example here if we can create a good base a long base i know this gold is different as a weekly chart monthly chart guys so um but i just wanted the example um if we form a good base and a good structure we, we could actually form into uh, a proper bull market you can see here again on uh, iota here it's very similar now, this this is again is just another example, but we're we're getting really down here. You can see we broke out of this wedge, and um, you know, if we can just con continue on into this pattern, we don't need to break out yet, guys. There's no need to rush this. The longer we stay here, the better. Um, we could we could break out above these moving averages, you know, and and start moving higher, and the moving averages could start moving up upward price, and price could just move into a bull market um so i hope this helped guys that that is it that's ada um so that is my thought press process in a potential reason why we could actually be topping out here and we may never ever see these uh bitcoin dominance prices again um will there be uh lost this tool here will there be like one more stop hunt and then get that or do, or do we just do that i mean as you've seen with um oil here you know there, there was weeks and months of a consolidation period before that dropped off so we could actually range here for a long time um you know it might just range in here before we get that roll down and that, that would coincide beautifully with forming a base down here in the altcoin market and um you know and if if, if i'm correct in this analysis these this dominance could drop right off again and these alts could actually start to form the bull market so i hope this analysis helped guys and was a little bit educational um and just showed you my thought process um i, I didn't really go through what what that implication might happen for bitcoin um it's 14 minute video i'll have to go through that again in another video this video is lasting this is it's too long here 14 15 minutes here so but i, I really hope it helped and maybe you got something um pretty important from that so that's it for the video guys um 
please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. If you'd like to join us in our trading room, we're in there every single day making a kill in this market. And we have just rolled out a new monthly update where we provide uh, trading strategies and uh, updates on the market. And uh, it's educational updates for our members to keep improving. Our goal is to make uh, a group of super traders so we can all make more money together. That's it, guys. Thanks for watching. Have a good day.